Hello and welcome back to the channel. Cooking in Breath of the Wild isn't exactly difficult. You just hold your stuff, walk up to a cooking pot, and chuck them in. But where's the fun in that? If something isn't challenging, it's not very entertaining. Let's change that. I gave Twitch chat control over the game and tasked them with one simple thing. Cook one fish. So You have a couple different ingredients you could throw together here. Could make some interesting food. Let's see what you guys can do. We're back into the inventory. Fish is in the bottom right, so you're going to have to move to the bottom right to pick it up. All right, we're going way far left now. We're now in the weapons inventory. I don't think you want to cook a Lionel sword, but that, I mean, you do you. The nice thing is, though, if you do right, yeah, it should really correct most of that. All right, we're going really far right. We're in the key items now. All right, we could cook the paraglider. I don't think the game will let you. All right, we're going to pull out some bombs. This is some really spicy cooking now. We're about to hold one rush room or eat it. All right, we're going to eat one rush room. We are currently trying to cook one fish. And so far, we've managed to eat one rush room. All right, we're walking into a wall, opening up the map now. It's an interesting strategy. It's not only do you guys have to manage to hold the item, you also have to walk over to the cooking pot and press A on the cooking pot to cook it. All right, we have equipped a Lionel sword. I don't think this quite makes us closer to cooking. I, I don't think equipping a sword will help in cooking much, but you never know. Now, it was at this point that Twitch chat started to teach me cooking tips that I would never have dreamed of. In their care for the craft and want to teach, they began teaching cooking tips that can elevate even the most mundane of dishes to five-star quality. All right, we're jumping into a wall now. This is all, these are all just secret cooking techie techniques I've never seen, but unfortunately I have not. All right, we have successfully waited by the fire. So people in Twitch chat control link. Yep, people in Twitch chat are playing the game. I'm completely hands off right now, so. Any movement you see is Twitch chat playing right now. All right, so we're running around the pot. So these are all just secret cooking techniques. I never knew that you have to run around the pot. You have to run into a wall for a little bit. You have to jump into the wall. I mean, who would have known that just jumping into a wall would make your... Di oh, we're holding. We're holding stuff. You've pulled up the hold menu. So now you just have to go over to the fish and press A. We're closing in on the fish. We're just two boxes away. All right, we're in the map. Oh, we're placing down another stamp. We're holding a bat wing, it looks like. So we are successfully holding something. All right, we're running around the pot again. Jumping also. I guess this is a good way to tenderize the foods and stuff is to run around the pot and jump a bunch of times. All right, we're back into holding. Can we hold and... Oh, we're back in the... We're, we're going to save the game now, apparently. <laughs> Why is everyone clicking the title screen button? It seems like everybody wants to go to the title screen for some reason. All right. We have dropped the silver longsword. We have left it at the cooking pot. Apparently, we need to prep the knife a little bit, sanitize it by the fire. What are you guys? All right. We're running away, but we did pull out the... Oh, we have ran off of the platform. You see, it's just all of these cooking tips I never knew before. I mean, running off of the platform into the water below would make your food better. Who knew that would happen? All right, we're going to title screen. No, we're canceling out a title screen now. All right, we're, ha we're not going to title screen just yet. Not feeling like it. But can we get back to the cooking pot is the question. <laughs> also think defeating Link will make the food better. Yeah, indeed. Who knew just reducing your health to zero would make the food better. It's just so many secret cooking tips you guys are showing me. This is the true enlightening stream here. All right, we have saved successfully down below the cooking pot. Yep, all right, we have now successfully saved twice down here. So the, we really have this part saved. Use amiibo. Interesting move, considering I have no amiibo. You can use amiibo. <laughs> all right. Congratulations. We can now use the no amiibo that I have. But we can now use amiibo that I don't have. Congratulations, everybody. You now have a new rune that we'll never use. 
All right, looks like we're really into changing the language, but can't quite decide on changing the language to what we want yet. All right, we're going to the title screen. You have successfully quit the game yet again. We have lost the silver longsword. Congratulations, everybody. Now again, the goal is to cook a fish here. So you could start a new game and completely er do we start a new game? You could, in theory, completely erase all of the progress in the four or five streams that we have done. Or you can reload the save and cook the fish. All right, we're back up to play in master mode. All right. We have successfully left the normal save and have loaded into master mode. <laughs> Congratulations but I don't think this is getting us any closer to cooking a fish. <laughs> so, welcome to master mode, I guess. Hope it was worth it. All right, so now that you're in master mode, you have effectively thrown away your only one hit weapon that you have. And we have thrown ourselves off of the tower, but you have infinite hearts, so it's not gonna quite work out like you think. But you have thrown away your 10,000 damage torch. You may want that. Let me find a song. I gotta go use the facilities again. Good luck. Whatever it is you're gonna do. And let's get some Mute City in here. Good luck. See what you guys have gotten up to. We're back in Zora's domain. Um, all right, this looks to be the let's see the light girl over there. Yeah, I have the completed master mode save. Made a new save. Got a couple people saying you made a new save. One person saying you haven't yet. Looks like we can now cook the fish. <laughs> so many cooking techniques I never knew. All right, we have now slept till morning, which is going to aid in our cooking abilities here. You gotta let all the ingredients simmer and sit together to congeal the flavors a little bit better. All right, running around the pot again. Gotta run a couple times around it real quick to get the food back up. Already. Um, still holding your spear out though, so. The, the woman over there doesn't really seem to care that you're waving a spear around, but. I guess that's normal for Zora to walk around with weapons out. Good. All right, we have held the fish. Now we just have to close the menu and cook it on the cooking pot. And we will have successfully cooked the fish. I feel like that's the fun part about Twitch chat plays, though. It's like you can set really simple goals, but they become really hard when you control the game by one line commands. All right, now that we've held the fish, it's just a simple matter of walking up to the cooking pot and using it. But I kid you not, it took over 10 minutes of running around the pot to try and find the right angle to be able to get Link to cook. But then, it happened. We have held the fish. We're closing in on cooking this thing. It's cooked. You have the option available to you. You're close enough to the pot. It has loaded. And we have cooked a fish in Breath of the Wild. Tough Fish Skewer has been acquired. Congratulations. Who knew cooking could be so hard? But we have done it in the end. Congratulations. We have successfully made one meal. We knew Twitch chat controlling Link would be such a struggle. All right. 
But now that we have cooked a fish, what do you want to do now? <laughs> 